Hey guys, Chris Petrot here, founder of The Roar. Just wanted to share a little bit about maturing. And um, out of Romans 8, 18, it says, For I consider that the suffering of the present time is not worthy to be compared with the glory that is to be revealed in us. I just wanted to let you know that I truly believe that God is releasing a greater measure of His presence for the people that have truly suffered and persevered through suffering and have caught, counted the cost. There's something about perseverance that actually grows your character to maturity, to understand that there's purpose in the pain, that there's an enemy that wants to steal, kill, and destroy your destiny, and that if you can push by because greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world with the partnering with the Lord co-laboring with the Lord that something starts to be uh, revealed inside of you and that's the glory of God to create a history where you know that strength lies in an encounter even in your weakest state God is attracted to your weakest state to encounter you with his strength and build you up and when you start to be built up like that you start to ha handle uh, future situations future circumstances that that, uh, that might be uh, negative in your life way better when you have a history looking behind you of the times that God has solved you through and I think this is just so important you know to grow in maturity because I look at Paul's life to be able to write something like that and even in verse 19 for it says for he anxiously longing of creation waits eagerly for the sons of God the revealing of sons of God in here the word sons is actually mature sons that there's something about sons that and daughters that go through suffering that, 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 that just matures them and are able to deal with the issues of the day. You know, Paul had three spiritual sons. He had Timothy, Onesis, and Titus. All these guys that he poured into, he had their back. You know, um, he stood up to the apostolic council in Antioch, in Antioch um, and he did all, all sorts of just encouraging and backing them up. But these guys dealt with some of the main issues of the church of their time. Um, fornication uh, uh, in the, in the church of Ephesus. He, he dealt with uh, the you know the island of Crete. They were evildoers, sloths, just lazy people that complained and plotted and did all this nasty stuff. Um, he sends uh, one son who actually stole from a prominent house church. Uh, back to go serve that man. I mean, he wasn't scared to hold his sons accountable and have them teach, you know, clean up their messes. But all that can happen in the context of understanding that you are maturing by submitting yourself to a spiritual father. Paul, who did to the to this point, we don't think had his own family, was a great spiritual father to these three sons that he had. And he sends them out to go deal with the immorality of the church of the time. What would it look like if us as fathers in this generation be so confident in our spiritual sons? I mean, the ones that we're really walking through. You know, Paul had three. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and, and he was able to give them uh, ample time and, and sufficient um discipleship to be able to handle these issues where he could look at Timothy and challenge this church and say don't let them look down on you because of your age he truly was an amazing amazing spiritual dad and I'm telling you we need to stop trying to hoard our spiritual sons so they could just build our ministries but I truly believe mature sons are supposed to deal with the immorality that's happening in this age so I just wanted to encourage you to grow to understand that suffering might be happening not because there's a closet issue that you haven't revealed in the light it could be that but it could be because you said yes to Jesus and you started to believe in the dreams that were in your heart it could be that there's an enemy that truly does want to steal kill and destroy which I believe and you understanding that and knowing that he is allowing suffering in your in your life to happen because he knows on the other side of this you're going to be wait carrying the waiting glory of the Lord and you're going to start to believe like never Never before that you're unstoppable and I think that's what maturity in the Lord is about bless you guys